Oh no. Here too. Gormot's an attractive target, but this. Whoever did this clearly had no compassion or respect for the people they killed. Well, whether it was Malos or someone else, either way, clearly they're all toast. Mithra. <laughs> Laura. It's... it's okay. Mother could have run away somewhere safe. Look, fresh graves over here. This kind soul must have dug them all. <sighs> What's wrong? Should... Should we maybe bury him too? Huh? Hmm. Yes, let's. Surround them. Huh? Ardanian troops, Imperial Guard, thieving scum. Don't think you're gonna get away with your dirty deeds. What? No, we just problem, Captain. Much longer. 
Cheap trick. Keep going like that, you'll get a reputation. Cheap, you say? Don't be absurd. It's called tactics, look it up. But perhaps that's something a simpleton like yourself could never hope to comprehend. Uh, a simpleton? Your attacks scream it. Clumsy, heavy, no refinement. Uh, I was gonna go easy on you. But now, now you have pissed me off! Uh, Mithra, stop! We've got children here! What was that? If that had actually hit me... Oh, <laughs> didn't like that, did you? I can see it on your face. Well, on that note... Pace! Understood. Extraordinary. I'd heard of a blade with the power to restrain others, but I never thought... And did she say Adam? It can't be. All of you, lay down your arms. There is no need for this. Hello? It's good to see you again, Prince Adam. Please forgive the actions of my guards. Don't you worry about it. I am just glad to see you well, Your Imperial Majesty. Imperial Majesty? May I introduce? The Emperor of Mor Ardain, Hugo Ardenach. The Ardanian Emperor? What's someone of his station doing out here? You know, our stations are fairly similar. Not that you'd ever know. Thanks, I try. I've come for the Aegis. Its actions have been felt in Mor Ardain as well. We're currently chasing it down. The same as us, then. But coming here yourself. My brother is ruling in my absence. I see. And so you brought Brigid and Aegean. Huh? Those two are the crown jewels of the Ardanian forces. 
Wielding them on the front lines is the duty of he who has the throne. Indeed. That ought to have been my older brother. But he didn't have the potential to become a driver. And now, here you are, bonded with both of them. The Special Inquisitor is under my brother's direct command. Oh. Should I fall in battle, he has his orders to retrieve the core crystals. That sounds cold. That's how it goes with matters of state. And yet, it works out well for me. I have always wanted to put myself on the line for our people. And I never enjoyed wielding authority in the first place. I feel the same way. I don't get why anyone would want to sit on a throne. Yes, that. If Prince Zetar knew, there would be consequences. Let's pretend you didn't hear me say that. You two will never see eye to eye. Better to leave well enough alone. Ruling is, frankly, it's a scary thought. Just imagine becoming someone you don't recognize. Never knowing who's looking back at you in the mirror. Prince Adam, I'd be happy if you called me Hugo, like old times. I will, dear Hugo, but only if you call me Adam in return. Well, it would be beneficial to share our findings, but perhaps elsewhere might be better? How about your Majesty's flagship? Indeed. Flagship. Is something the matter, Lady Laura? I I'm just not very good in that kind of stuffy environment. Oh, well, you're not alone there. That's the worst. Right? I think I'll sit this particular venture out. Yeah, I'm out too. Oh, no, you don't. Wait a minute. Is that her? Yes, this is Mithra, one of the Aegises. <sighs> Your account would be valuable as well, Laura. Everything I've seen or heard, Jin will know as well. Uh, uh, yes, that's true. Please, would you go instead of me, please? Of course. I will do as you wish. Thank you, kindly. Well then, shall we? <laughs> 